Hi, Faye here. Thanks for joining me. Tonight we're going to talk about chakras. In the last few months I've been doing aura photography and what I'm finding is that most people's auras and chakras are way out of balance. They're not energized in a, in a balanced manner and this creates a lot of problems for you in the body because we're all vibration, all energy, and our chakras are our energy systems for the body. So what does chakra um, actually mean? Chakra is a Sanskrit word and it means wheel or disc and it refers to the energy centers in your body. Now these wheels or disc of spinning energy correspond to certain groups of nerves and major organs in your body. There are many, many chakras in the body, but we're going to talk about the seven main chakras. And those are the root, which is the red at the bottom, the sacral, the solar plexus, the heart chakra, the throat chakra, the third eye chakra, and the crown chakra, because those are the seven main ones that power your physical body and they affect you. When your chakras are not in order, your body's not performing at optimum capacity and we don't want that to happen. So we're going to talk a little bit about what you can do and how you can, can uh, correct that situation if it's happening with you. So your chakras spin and as you can see from this slide, they're like little tornado vortexes, like little vortexes, and, and they spin in a clockwise direction. The root chakra points to the ground, and the crown chakra points to the sky. So they spin in a clockwise manner, but they spin what, you know, a little bit differently from the other ones. The other ones are cones of energy that come out from the body. So they come out this direction from the body. And the crown goes up, the root chakra goes down and points toward the earth. So looking at this, your, um, you know, when they're operating at capacity and when they're operating as they're designed to operate, they're spinning quickly, easily, powerfully, in a clockwise manner. So you have to kind of adjust the root and the crown. So as we're talking about this, kind of fix in your mind this slide and the direction and kind of orient that to your body so that when we start spinning chakras and focusing on chakras, you'll know what to do. Okay? So what do your chakras look like when they're energized and balanced? This is a slide from my aura photography, the chakra slide, and this shows um, energy for the, the seven energy systems, the seven chakras in your body, and what they would look like if they're balanced and in harmony and energized. You see the shape of them, the, the dots of color are primarily round, and that's what you want them to look like. So what do they look like when they're stressed and out of balance? They look kind of like this. You'll see that instead of circles, you have all sorts of shapes. For your chakras to operate at optimum, you want them to be between about 45 and 75 to 80 percent energized. All of them should be energized all of the time within that normal range. And then whatever you're doing, if you're using one energy system more than another, then it may have a little bit more energy, but you don't want it to be at 100%. 100%, you've got too much energy there, and you'll be out of balance uh, with too much energy, as just as not enough energy, you'll be out of balance because that chakra isn't energized enough. So there is a proper balance. And um, I want to show you what it looks like. These are some photos that we did. This, these are the same person. We took the photo on the left to the uh, at the beginning before the person did anything to look at their chakras, balance chakras, spin them. And as you can see, they're 
oddly shaped. None of them are, are round, and some of them are much larger, and others are much smaller. Um, so what this person did was we gave them about one minute per chakra to spin their chakras, and they were just spinning them. And the photograph on the right shows what happened after one minute. And you can see they're not in really great shape. However, look at how much they changed. And some of them actually went to a round shape and energized a great deal more than they were at the beginning. So that's what one minute per chakra can do if your chakras are out of shape, out of balance, and out of alignment. Here is another person, and this person, um, the photo again on the left, is prior to them doing anything, and the photo on the right is after they took about a minute per chakra and both focused their attention while they were imagining the chakras spinning. And look at the difference that it makes. Look at that. There is such a difference in each chakra. The ones that were over-energized, like the, the orange one, it was over-energized and it has gotten smaller. Some of the other ones that were under-energized have gotten a little better. All of them have taken on a round shape. So that's what seven minutes of your time and intention and attention and effort can do to your chakra system. And remember, your chakra system is what energizes your body. So with that, are you ready to energize your chakras? What we're going to do is focus on the chakras. And remember, it starts at the root, at the bottom of your body. It comes up to the sacral, the solar plexus, the heart, the throat, the third eye, and then the crown chakra. And so we're going to start with the root because you want to energize them in that order. Start at the bottom and come up. Um, and I want you to just close your eyes. Bring your attention to your root chakra. You can place your hand on your body at your root chakra and just feel the warmth of it there. That will focus your attention there. And breathe, and as you breathe, just visualize energy coming up from the earth because the earth nurtures us. The earth has great energy to feed us. All of nature gives us energy. So if you can go out and sit in, the, in nature somewhere on the beach or in the trees or on grass, uh, you know, by a little brook or or a lake, anywhere out in nature, you'll you'll really benefit from being there and absorbing that energy. But just imagine wherever you are that you are pulling the energy up from the earth into your root chakra. And as you're visualizing that, imagining that, then see it start spinning in a clockwise manner. And if your chakra isn't round, it may start out kind of feeling like you're going kabloom, kabloom, kabloom because it's not spinning easily because it isn't round. And as you continue to work with that spin, you'll notice that it, it smooths out and it just, it just effortlessly spins. And that's the way it should be. What it's doing when, you're, when it's doing that is whatever energy is in that chakra that is blocked or stuck, it's loosening it up and spinning it off just like you do with a, when you put salad in a, in a salad spinner and spin the water out of it. You're spinning all of the junk out of your chakras so that you have good, wonderful energy there and it's spinning freely. And in doing that, it can also flow out to the organs and the nerve systems in your body so that they operate well and have the energy that they need to be healthy. So breathe in that energy to your root chakra. See it spinning. Feel the energy. 
with every breath, see the energy flowing in, spinning effortlessly, and then breathe and exhale. And let's go to the sacral chakra just above the root. And I'm going to go back to the slide so that you can see these if you need to refer back to it. So there you are. There's the, the root is the red one. The orange one is the sacral. So we're at the sacral. So you can put your hand there on your body. Bring your attention there. Focus the energy there. Tell it to be in balance and harmony. And breathe in. Bring the energy up from the earth into through the root chakra. Spinning easily there. Flowing on through up to the sacral chakra. And watch it spinning there transforming everything that isn't what it should be, what it would be if everything were operating wonderfully together in harmony and balance. Exhale, bring the energy up again through the root into the sacral. Watch it spin easily and effortlessly. And just imagine it in your mind's eye, spinning. That's all it takes. It's just your imagination that it's spinning. If you can't feel it, don't worry about it. If you can't see it, don't worry about it. Just imagine it and know that it's spinning. Some people will be able to feel it. You'll feel the energy. You'll feel it getting energized. You'll feel your body getting energized from this. Other people may not, and it's okay. It's happening whether you feel it or whether you don't. So breathe, bring the energy from the earth up through the root to the sacral. And now bring your hand on up to the solar plexus, just above your belly button. Focus the energy there, feel the warmth, feel the energy filling that chakra, filling the solar plexus up starting to spin, spinning in a clockwise manner, easily and effortlessly, spinning, spinning, spinning. Exhale, bring your breath up again through your root chakra, through your sacral, to your solar plexus. See them all spinning, energizing, nourishing your body, your organs, your nerve system. And now move on up to your heart chakra. Bring the energy into that area. Focus your attention there. Feel it energizing, starting to spin, spinning quickly, easily, effortlessly. Breathe, and as you breathe, bring the energy up from the earth through your lower chakras from the root, through the sacral, through the solar plexus, into the heart, filling the heart chakra, energizing, spinning easily, effortlessly, spinning quickly, fast even, balanced in harmony with all of the other chakras. They're all working together. And now move on up to the throat chakra. Bring your attention there. Feel the energy. Feel it starting to spin. Breathe and bring the energy up through from the earth, through all of your lower chakras, all the way up into your throat chakra. Energizing, balancing, harmonizing, easily, effortlessly spinning quickly. A few deep breaths. Bring the energy and your attention on up to your third eye chakra. Balancing, harmonizing, energizing, spinning. Breathe the energy in from the earth up through all of your lower chakras into your third eye chakra. Relax, 
see it energized, spinning, balanced, working in harmony with all the other chakras as you breathe. And now bring your attention on up to your crown chakra. Just place your hand there. Feel the warmth, feel the energy, feel that chakra. Feel it starting to spin. And if you don't feel it, imagine it spinning. Remember it's spinning this direction. And if it's confusing as to which direction I'm spinning this in and you're looking at me and we're opposite, don't worry about it. Tell it to spin in its proper direction. It knows and it will do that. So tell it to spin in its proper direction. Spin quickly and easily. Fill that chakra with energy. Breathe, starting bringing your energy up from the root chakra all the way through all the chakras with your breath until it's flowing easily into the crown chakra, energizing, balancing, harmonizing. And just breathe that energy in. So deep breaths, bringing the energy in, seeing all of them just spinning, working together in a cyclic manner, in balance, in harmony. Everything working together. And now I want you to, still with your eyes closed, bring your attention to your body and tell me, do you feel more energized? Do you feel more balanced? Are your chakras all spinning in the proper direction? Have they come into balance? Does your body feel better? It may be that you actually feel the energy in your body. And if you don't feel it, no worries. Don't worry about it. Just know that if you do this and spend as much time, we run through it really quickly. So the first time you do it, you may want to spend five minutes with each chakra, just balancing, energizing, spinning, filling it up. And if you want to visualize colors, you can do that too. The colors for the chakras are the root is red, the sacral is orange, the solar plexus is yellow, the heart is green, the throat is blue, the third eye is violet, and the crown is either lavender, pink, or white, depending on who it is that teaches you about chakras. Your body will know what color it's supposed to be. If, you, if a color comes up for you, then incorporate that color into it. If it doesn't, don't worry about it. Um, your body knows and your chakras know, and when they're working properly, they will adjust to their proper color. And know that everybody is different. And if you noticed in some of the other slides, the colors weren't always those exact same colors because we're all different we have a different energy and so there's a little variation in those colors but your chakras know your body innately knows the colors that they should be spin them and i would recommend that you do this three four times a day whenever you start feeling um, drained stressed tired then take a moment you can do it anywhere. My email is fay at tsvibrations.com. So shoot me an email. Check out my website.